this video we're talking about how to find the volume of a circular cone. And when we talk about a circular cone, we're talking about a three-dimensional object, a cone, where the base of the cone is a circle. So when we say circular cone, we mean a cone where the base is a circle. And when we have that particular object, we can find the volume using this formula. Volume is equal to one-third times B times H, where B, capital B here, is the area of the base, and h is the height of the cone. Not the slant height, but the length of the altitude, the height, the interior height here of the cone. When we talk about the area of the base b, of course, since the base is a circle, we're talking about the area of a circle, so we can make the substitution pi r squared for b, since the area of a circle is always pi r squared. So more often, we're going to be using this formula, one-third pi r squared h, where r is the radius and h is the height. So we've got a couple of examples here. This first cone, we can see that the radius is 7 and the height is 45. So if we plug those values into the volume formula, we can say volume is equal to 1 3rd times pi times r squared. And we know that r is 7, so we get times 7 squared times the height. And we know that the height is 45. So then when we simplify, we're going to get volume is equal to 1 3rd times 45 is going to give us 15. So the 1 3rd will cancel, and this will become 15. And then we can just say 15 times 7 squared, or 15 times 49 which is going to be 735, so we can call volume 735 pi. And we'll leave our answers exactly in terms of pi, but you could give a decimal approximation if you use 3.14 as an approximation for pi, or you could give a fractional approximation if you use 22 sevenths as an approximation for pi. But in this case, volume is equal to 735 pi. What about this example here? We have a circular cone, the base is a circle with radius 6, but the height is given to us here. And you could say that's not the true height, because remember we were talking about the length of the altitude, not the slant height, and 20 here looks like it's the slant height. But the giveaway is this right angle indication here, which tells us that this is in fact the height of the cone, not just the slant height. It also happens to be the slant height on this edge of the cone, but it's going to be the height h that we can use because of this right angle. So in this case we'll say volume is equal to 1 3rd pi r squared, or 6 squared, times the height, so times 20. And when we simplify, we'll get volume is equal to 6 times 6 is going to be 36. 36 divided by 3 is going to give us 12. And 12 times 20 is going to give us 240. So what we end up with is 240 pi as the volume of this cone. We can also do it here when we've been given the height outside of the cone. Again, the important thing is this right angle indication, or this 90 degree angle indication here, that tells us that the height is 15 units. So again, we'll say volume is equal to 1 3rd pi times r squared, or in this case 9 squared, times the height, which in this case is 15. When we do 15 times 1 3rd, we get 5, so here we're just going to call this 5, so we'll end up with volume is equal to 5 times 9 squared, or 5 times 81, which is going to be 405, so we'll get 405 pi for the volume of this cone. And again, the important thing is not where the angle is, whether it's in the center of the base, whether it's on the edge of the cone, or whether it's outside the cone. The important thing is that we have a 90 degree angle, and wherever we have the 90 degree angle, that's the height we want to use. So in this case, we wanted to use height of 45 because this was the 90 degree angle. If we had been given a slant height here, we would not have wanted to use that slant height. Here we have the 90 degree angle, so we want to use height 20. If we had been given a slant height here, we would not have wanted to use that for height. And same thing here, we have the height at the 90 degree angle, so we want to use that. We would not have wanted to use a slant height here or a slant height here. We want to use the height at the 90 degree angle. So in this case, volume is 405 pi.